Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com here to show you an easy way to fix baby skin here in Lightroom. Now, babies are perfect, they're beautiful and wonderful, but sometimes they have these little splotches on their face. Let me just zoom in. Some baby acne, maybe some scratches, and we want to remove that, okay? So I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to do that in Lightroom where you don't have to pull it over to Photoshop to make it uh, go away. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do with this image is just to apply a preset. I use presets on pretty much all of my images that I edit. This not only saves time, but it really creates a cohesive and consistent style in my photos. So with this, I'm going to use my Recollections presets. Uh, Left to Wonder is a beautiful preset, kind of just lifts up the, the light but still keeps the shadows, which I want. Okay, so with that one step preset, you can see the blemishes on the baby's face are even more prominent. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the toolbar, we're in the develop module, and I'm going to click on the spot removal. So we're basically just going to go in, let's do, go in and just remove some of these spots. We, you know, we don't want to keep them on there because, you know, blemishes, even with babies, um, are not a forever thing. So let's just get those moved. Now I am changing the size of my brush tool with my mouse. You can go, come over here to the panel over here and change the size this way, bigger or smaller, whatever is easier for you. But I'm just using the scroller on my mouse. So I want to choose the heal tool. Now the clone tool is a good tool as well, but when we're, when we're using skin, we want to use the heal because it blends better. Okay, so we can choose to feather it all the way, which I recommend when using when we're working with skin tones, opacity can kind of play with. But I'm going to just select the part of the face that I want to heal, so to speak. And then this is automatically going to choose a section from the photo that it's going to duplicate, essentially. It's gonna take all of the pixels over here and apply them over here, but still keep the texture of the image, this part of the image over here. So it looks a bit more natural. And I'm gonna just go over all of the other spots on the face. Now if for some reason Lightroom makes a wonky decision and say places the selection over here, you can move it. You can move it anywhere, any part of the face that works for you. So I'm just gonna do a few more of these. I don't think babies need to be touched up too much, just a little bit if they have acne or little scratches from their sharp little fingernails, uh, things like that. But this is a pretty quick process. It gets a bit more tricky when you're working in the shadows and around their little tiny features, but this is pretty quick. Okay, so that's pretty good for now. I could go over here and do some more work, but I'm gonna click on done and you can just see like how that instantly made the face look a lot better. Now, if we wanna take this a step further, we can go over to our masking button, and if you're using an older version of Lightroom, this is just simply the brush tool, okay? So you can click on brush, create new mask, brush, and what I would do here is just reduce the clarity a little bit. This is just going to smooth the skin out just a little bit. We don't want to do too much. I don't like retouching skin too much because that would make us look like walking Instagram filters. Um, and we don't want that, especially for babies, but you can um, do it a little bit just to smooth out any imperfections, just a little bit like that. And that's just gonna smooth out, you know, since this is more of a high contrast photo, it just smooths out some of the more texturized things on the face. All right, so that's about it. In order to finish this photo, I'd come down here, add a little bit of sharpening, maybe a little bit of masking, and we can see, yep, and that's about it. I might even decrease the highlights a little bit 
and lessen the shadows just so we can see more of the baby's face. But just to show you before and after presets, a little bit of the spot removal and that's all we need. So if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and follow my channel for more simple and easy Lightroom tutorials. Thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you next time.